Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a brand new series and Moira and, a bun and Crystal from Pineapple Papers came together in our Scrappy YouTube Hop um, group and talked about all about those 6x6 paper pads, 6x8 paper pads, the 2x2s, the 4x4s, whatever you have for scraps. Um, we are to use these mainly. Now, are we able to have like a cardstock or like one 12 by 12? Yes. But everything else should be all about this. Our background papers, as in like our scraps, everything should be all about these and trying to use these up because let's be honest, we all forget about these. And you know, to be really honest, I get the 12 by 12s as well sometimes and I forget about them too. So, I am using the Jen Hadfield um, This Is Family collection because I am following a sketch out of my um, first set of sketches. Now, my second set of sketches is being released next week, Friday, on the 27th of January. Those links are down below, but my first volume that I released back in July of last year is available, and I'm following one of those sketches. So if you're wanting to see what it is, Click, click down below and look at that. Also, my first virtual crop is coming up. That is exactly a week away or it is um, going to be up and running by the time uh, that week, the week after. And I want you guys, if you're available and you want to hang out, it is free. Come on over, click on my link. That'll be all down below. So I am not going to say the word of the word. But my photos are going to be, this is the first dose, this is the second one, and I wanted to be able to document it. I went back into my photos because I have been doing a lot of my daughters, and I am pretty well caught up on my daughters. I am looking at the spring, so I'm pretty much done with hers because I know for a fact that we are getting to the point where we are... I'm almost done, and then this is the summer, because I've already done some of the photos um, that at the end of the school year, so I'm coming up to where I'm getting close to where she's starting this next school year, so I decided to go back into my photos and get these cut up, because this is a lot, I left a lot of mine behind, and I want to start working on mine, and for my layouts and stuff. So that is why I decided to use these. This, like I said, this was back when um, we first, as teachers, um, were able to go ahead and get this one. And then this is the second one that was two and a half weeks later. And this happened for me in April of 2021. I was able to get them. I'm not here to have any other conversations about this, but yes. I am, um, I've always been honest about it. So that's what these are. I wanted to document it because, you know, it was part of my reality um, in the time. So that is what we're gonna do. The focus is gonna be on that. I am going to use this as the background because we did do a lot of um, game nights, um, staying home, a lot of that had something to do with it. And, you know, playing at home, eating at home, a lot more memories, relaxing, because it was just that time of the year. So that is why I wanted to use that. So with that being said, and this being so bold, I am going to pull in the, like, these ones here that doesn't have the images. It's going to be more just the major color tones. So let's see what I can do. Okay, so what I decided to do was is that I am going to do just one um, pattern paper. And you guys all know that I always have to have my one like border cardstock or whatever. So I, when I went to reach out to Moira and Crystal and be like, look, like I'm trying to make my background paper. I need it as a 12 by 12. Like, what do you like? Are we okay with a pattern paper or cardstock or something? And they're like, yeah, the, the main focal point would be using your um, 6 by 8 paper pads instead of your 12 by 12s and cutting them down. So that is what I'm doing here. I went through and I was like, you know what? Let's look at the color tones that I wanted to do. 
and I decided I'm going to pull the peach and then use that green that you see off to the side there. I'm going to use that as my background paper for my two photos. So I cut these um, squares from the six by eight paper pad to four and a half by, no, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. That way I could fit all four and then they match in colors. Now they are, you guys know, I love um, pattern on pa pattern on pattern on pattern. So what I did was is that I got the color tones to match as close as possible. So the two Distress Oxides that I pulled was, where did I put them? Here they are. Um, the orange that you're seeing me used for like the goldy, the goldish orange colors is um, dried marmal, uh, marigold. And then the peachy type color that you see me use, it's like a pinky peachy type color. And that's the saltwater taffy. Um, what I'm doing is, is that I am giving each paper a glow. And then I do come in with my um, trusty my trusty old uh, journaling pen. And give it a little bit more depth. And do my doodling on those papers. Now I didn't do it yet on the paper, the background paper. But I do do my doodling as well like I always do. I just like how it stands out. I like the glow behind the papers. And I like how this um, background of doing just that little bit of gold, you know, that little bit of gold in it, or the lining and the, the, the glow just makes them kind of pop out, I guess. So make sure that you go check out everybody down below. There is a ton of us. Um, this is something so new. And it's, you know, to be really honest... I would have never thought to just keep working with just my paper pads. Now, I will be truthful. I do not have a lot because I don't really order those packets as much as I do my 12 by 12 paper packs. But the ones that I do have, I've gotten the paper pack, the 12 by 12 paper pack, and then the 6 by 8 or the 6 by 6, depending on the 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 like the collection that I have. So what I did was is that my first photo is the first you know what and then my second photo is the second you know what. You can tell on the camera and I explained it early on what it is and I decided to back the second photo up on foam tape so that I can stick a little bit behind. So this is this is something that I wanted to document because I you know to be really honest there is a lot of talk behind it and all this but at the end of the day this you know it was my choice and so I wanted to document this and what I should have done and the one thing I did miss taking was my the third because I am to the point of doing um the third and the fourth and I should have documented my first second third and fourth like I've always you know like I've done with other things but I just didn't, um, once it got to the third and the fourth, I just was like, you know what, just let's roll. I'll get it done. Let's roll it out and be, you know, and it's good to go. But um, I did document this because it is part of my life. It is what it is and, you know, for that. So with that being said, then I decided to do Hello Smile and I added um, this black, um, this acrylic piece that's black and it's clear. You will see what I do at on the bottom of the page. You see that I have this hat, this the wreath, and you'll see what I do with that. I move it. It doesn't stay at the bottom. And so then I come in and I start to add the flowers around, and then I go through. Now I have used this collection before, and I've used quite a bit of the stickers and the embellishments, but I forgot that I had the embellishments, so I had to stop the camera get it out and then start to kind of go through a little bit more of the embellishments and then that's when I was able to finish this out. I think it was the sticker pack. One of the sticker packs I for, I knew I had more embellishments because I got quite a bit of the paper for some reason. And yeah, so that's, you know, kind of where I'm at with that. So you'll see I do get out some things and I think if I remember correctly, I do a little bit up on top. Now make sure that you go check out everybody down below. I love how 
Um, this, th I can't wait to like watch all of these over the weekend. Now, as this goes up on that Friday or on that Saturday, on this Saturday, I am at a retreat. So I'm going through and it'll be my second day at the retreat. Well, kind of the, th the third day because I'm going in on Thursday, but I'm going to be in a retreat. So make sure that you go check out everything. If you have not been part of my group, go check out my group because I am going to be, the following week is going to be the first monthly crop of my scrappy life. And I would love to have you. The still shots are coming up. Make sure you check everybody else. Like and subscribe to my channel. I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.